right, well, enough talking about Carson Wentz right there. We're going to talk some basketball right here a little bit, then we'll get into some NFL topics to end the show. Um, Reagan Griffin Jr., the guy that's joining me right now, you know, host of the Reagan Griffin Jr. show, he is a Los Angeles Lakers fan, and so far, Lakers are looking pretty good, man. So, Reagan, I wanted to get your thoughts on how the Lakers have looked during this postseason. You know, I think that they're the best team left remaining. What are your thoughts on the Lakers' season overall and just their playoff run so far? Man, it's it's really as a Lakers fan, right? And as you know, you have kind of two different kinds of Lakers fans. You have the Lakers fans that are unrealistic about everything, think they can get every player, think they can win a championship every year, and then you have the Lakers fans like me that are kind of a little bit more realistic. Um, but that unfortunately seems to be either a minority or a, a quiet majority. Um, but I, I was skeptical throughout the entire year. Uh, of how what the actual ceiling of this Lakers team was. I knew they had the talent to go win a championship, but there were certain teams that scared me, teams like Milwaukee, teams like the Clippers, but those teams are out. Uh, I, I think Giannis got exposed for the fact that his game just doesn't have enough layers to, <clears throat> excuse me, to sustain a playoff run. And then the Clippers, they just didn't care enough, man. The Clippers did not care enough throughout the entirety of the, the season. They didn't you know, their North Star wasn't an NBA championship. Their North Star was usurping the Los Angeles Lakers. And, and, you know, having that mentality ultimately was their downfall because the Denver Nuggets had a certain level of energy for the Clippers that the Clippers didn't have for the Denver Nuggets. Um, but to talk about the Lakers, man, I, I, I agree with you. I think they're the best team remaining. I still worry about the role players at times. And they've played very, very well. Um, throughout the entirety of this playoff run. I think Kyle Kuzma stepped it up defensively a lot. He's been hitting his open threes very well. Uh, Danny Green has been pretty disappointing. But Raja Rondo, I wasn't sure if playoff Rondo was still a thing, but the dude's been balling out. He's a, he's a guy that the Lakers offense can go to um, when, when they don't have a, a LeBron on the court facilitating things, right? Rondo can, can run an offense, and that was something I was concerned about. Dwight Howard's been playing very well as um, Alex Caruso stepping it up defensively and that's a guy that I feel like you know a lot of people like to put the meme label on him like he's a um, a Brian Scalabrini one of those dudes he can ball Duke can ball Alex Caruso is a baller man so the role players have been playing very well just the back of my mind tells me you know maybe that luck is running out at some point and maybe that's just the Lakers skeptic in me um, but you know at this point in time I, I would venture to say that I think that they're going to win the NBA championship yeah, I, I will say that at this point in time, I'm I'm in on the Lakers winning the championship. Yeah, I am too. Thank you so much for watching this video today. Please also note that the Juice Alert Sports Podcast is not just a YouTube channel. It is available on all podcasting platforms, including Spotify, Google Podcasts, iTunes, and Apple Podcasts. Also, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this content with all your friends. This podcast is my favorite thing in the entire world right now. It is my passion. I want more people to listen to this podcast. I really want this podcast to grow. Also, a fun fact about me is that I want to go into the sports broadcasting and media world once I graduate from the University of Toledo, a college in Northern Ohio. I am looking to become one of the next great sports broadcasters and analysts out in the world. And I potentially would like to start my own network if this podcast really truly grows, or if I fall short of that goal, I would love to work for a big time network like ESPN or Fox Sports 1. I am open to all networks. So if you believe in my dreams and you see or hear my passion through the screen, be sure to tell all your friends about the Juice Alert Sports Podcast. Stay motivated, you guys. Have a God-blessed day, and I'm out.